All right, there we go. We are live. Hey, everybody. Hope you guys are doing great tonight. Welcome to the uh, get together. <laughs> My name is Vic, and uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. We are live. This is a live um, hanging out here on Four Percent Channel. I'll make sure I can see your comments here. We'll be getting the party started. We're going to be talking about how to build an unshakable business. And uh, I'm going to share with you guys some ideas here. Um, good to see you, Janice. All right, Kelly, always great to see you guys. I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit of a different setup here today. Let me see if I can get this digital whiteboard uh, so that everybody can see. One sec here. Okay. And we'll get the party started. Okay, can you get, uh, all right, let me Five, make sure that four, we can see three, this here. Two. Nope, not that. This right here, okay. Testing this thingy, test, can everybody see that? All right. Terrell, how are you, my man? Lamar, Stella, Gabriel, Oscar, okay. Great, awesome, you guys can see it. Um, Phyllis says we missed you. Yeah, I missed you guys too. We have been um, we have been out, you know, last week. Um, I actually have been out on, you know, on a few things um, last week. But one of the things we did last week is we were, you know, out celebrating people's successes uh, in, you know, on a yacht, and so we had an incredible, incredible time. You all want to see what happened there? I posted this in the in the group. Um, check this out. This will kind of set the theme, you guys, for what we're going to be, you know, doing here with, you know, kind of moving forward as, as I'll explain here today. But I want to talk about, you know, if you're just, like, if you're an entrepreneur, right, I think what I will share with you tonight um, most likely will be a pivotal point for many of you. I don't probably, you know, might not be 100% of you here because we have a lot of people. But if you're an entrepreneur, I think that what I will share with you here tonight will benefit you tremendously in your business. But before I do that, hey, check out what happened last week with some of these people that we were hanging out with, okay? Check it out. Five, four, three, two. Hey guys, Vic here. So I just wanted to let you know what's happening here, what we have been doing for the last couple of days. We had an incredible, incredible time with our 4% members. Uh, and we have been just celebrating people's successes. You know, it's one thing to propagate the message of, you know, you can do it, you can do it, but it's a whole different other thing when you actually see people breaking through, when people, you know, hitting their goals, when people winning contests, when people are actually getting the results, and when it's time to celebrate their successes. You know, and that's what we have been doing here uh, for the last couple of days. You know, one thing that I, you know, when I when I launched out 4%, um, my vision was, you know, I didn't want this to be about just Vic. I didn't want this to be a Vic thing and just, you know, the only person that's successful is me. You know, the vision has always been here with the 4% to how many success stories can we create? And then together, how many other people can we inspire, right? That's first. And then beyond that inspiration, how many other people can we help? And really what's our core message here, the, the whole vision, the whole idea here of the 4%, my friend, is this, is to help you become great at whatever it is that you're doing. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a speaker, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're just an affiliate marketer, if you are building your vision, your dream, first of all, I'm gonna tell you, go for it, all right? Second thing is if you need help with getting your message out there in a bigger way, more powerful way, more appealing, you know, way that gets you results, that gets you that ultimate outcome that you're looking for. If I can serve you, if we can help you amplify that message and get you to that next level in your business, I would love for you to become part of what we're doing here and let's make this industry better together. Look out. 
up at the sky and see the light Be the air in your lungs, it'll be alright Every breath that you take means you're in the fight Light to take you higher So that's what we've been doing last weekend, or actually last week, I think that was. So um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, make sure that we're still live here. Okay, great. Okay, so <clears throat> that, that kind of sets the message of, you know, of what I wanted to talk with you guys about here tonight, right, uh, on this webinar. Uh, and that is this. How many of you are here, you know, consider yourself to be an entrepreneur, right? You're an entrepreneur, you want to build something. You want to do something great, you know, before you do something great for the world, you want to do something great for yourself, which is just the truth, right, and how it's supposed to be, I think. Um, and uh, Alicia, okay, great, 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 okay, we're back, okay, good. So, you know, and, um, and I want to talk to you about how do you build an unshakable business, right? How do you build an unshakable business doing whatever it is that you're doing? So let's go ahead and get into this, you guys, right away, uh, and then you'll see why you know, why we are, uh, you know, we're going to be, actually, let me, I'm going to explain it to you in, in a minute here, okay? So, let's do this. Building, okay, an unshakable business, okay? Long time. What up, Agnes? Agnes Toros, how are you? Julie, we are live. Somebody say, somebody tell Julie that we're live, actually. <laughs> you guys should be able to see my, uh, my uh, whiteboard. For those guys who are brand new here, let me tell you this. There is, you know, any entrepreneur that starts out a business, right, everybody wants to succeed. And, and, and what we have been, you know, observing over the last, you know, really, especially over the last month, you know, maybe over the last three months, but more so over the last couple of weeks here in the industry that, you know, all of us are a part of, uh, have been some, you know, some disturbing um, events that were, you know, that were happening. And a lot of people started out thinking, hey, I want to build a business, I want to do this thing, you know, and then before you know it, you know, people that dependent on somebody or something or companies or this or that and Something happens and company gets shut down, which happens a lot in this industry, and people find themselves to be out, right? And there is no stability. It's a very, very shakable business that a lot of people are building. And so what I wanted to talk with you about today is how do you build an unshakable business? How many of you guys would like to build yourself an unshakable business where you don't have to worry about what happens in the industry? You want to have a rock-solid foundation for yourself, not only just for, you know, immediately uh, for a short future, but also for a long future, right? And, um, and as, you know, we, we were in, you know, in Miami, they're hanging out with some of our leaders uh, on that yacht, and we discussed, you know, we had a little mastermind, and I'm like, okay, you guys, so what is the, you know, the, the, the single, like, common denominator, of, you know, amongst all entrepreneurs is that we entrepreneurs, we want to build something great, Right, and and we go for those short-term kind of a, you know, money opportunities, but then there is no long-term stability. So therefore, we're going from, you know, being excited to being in a valley, being excited again, being in a valley. And so your business is like this all the time, and 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 more valleys than than heights, right? Bender wants to build an unshakable business, right? Absolutely, starting out. Okay, great. 
We want to be unshakable. Yeah, you want to have an unshakable business. So how do you do that? Okay, so let's tackle this right away. Um, and again, I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts on this. I'm going to share with you how, you know, how I have built, uh, you know, my business and, and what we're doing now. And I've been on both sides of the fence. You know, I'm not going to tell you that I've never made these mistakes. In fact, I have make, made these same mistakes that a lot of people are making right now. Uh, and it wasn't fun. You know, it wasn't um, something I would recommend to anybody uh, but I'm going to share it with you, take it for what it's worth for you, and hopefully, you know, if you really hear the, today's message, what I'm, you know, what I'm going to share with you, uh, it will probably help you build uh, truly an unshakable business, okay? Now, how do you do that, man? Let's talk about how do you do that. There's, there's three things, you guys, okay? We're going to, you know, I'd like to keep things very simple here. Um, number one is this, okay? What is your target, all right? So, what's my clear target? What am I going for? Okay, what's my clear target? And everybody's talking about like, what's my clear target? Somebody tell me, why are you in business? Okay, Dottie says, been in Deep Valley. Monique wants to build an unshakable business. Mob got shut down. Yeah, I'm not sure if they got shut down, but you know, they're, on, they're definitely under investigation, which is like, you guys listening to me, to my voice here, you should never, ever, ever, ever depend on any company, ever. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, Donna, Vanessa? Alicia, you should never depend on any company, okay? What is your target? Okay, somebody says financial freedom. Uh, Gina says, I'm lazy. If you're lazy, Gina, you will not build a, you know, you will not build a solid business. I'll just tell you that. Build your skyscraper like the Transamerica build, okay? Freedom, okay? Build a legacy. Okay, so, you know, so what's the target here? The target is really is freedom, yeah? Let's just break it down here. So I want to break it down to the simplest form possible, okay? So the target is freedom, okay? That's really what we want, okay? We want to have that. Now, I'd like to be financially independent, somebody says, right? Ramos says, I want to be financially independent. So yeah, now what is freedom, okay? So freedom is something that, you know, will allow you to do what we want. I think that's why we all start in business and that's why I can tell you that's why I started, you know, in, in this business because I wanted to have financial independence, I wanted to have ultimately, I wanted to have freedom where you can travel whatever you want and you don't have to worry about stuff for me, right? I, I did not want to punch in the clock, um, although there is nothing wrong with working for somebody else if that's your thing, but different people have different reasons, right? So financial freedom, okay? How do you become, how do you become financially free, right? How many of you guys read Robert, Ka Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? How many of you guys read that book, yeah? See, a lot of entrepreneurs, here's what happens, and here is what I'm observing, especially in our industry here. A lot of entrepreneurs talking about this kind of stuff, a lot of entrepreneurs saying the cute sayings and repeating cute sayings, but they don't practice it. You know what I mean? They don't practice it. So, so there's two things, right? As Robert's saying, somebody says 10,000 a month. Love that book. Yeah, it's a great book, right? So he's saying there's is, there is basically two ways you know, there are several ways. There's four quadrants, but primarily you have people at work, okay? You have people at work or money at work, right? Two ways you make money. Either you work for the money or you have money working for you, right? No money worries. That's right, Antonio, okay? Not to worry about money anymore, okay? So ultimately what we want is we want to not worry about money. All right, everybody agree here? So, you know, that's why, I, that's why I started online. And, you know, I didn't start online to change the world, man. No, it was to change my situation. You know, it was to change my family and my financial thing. I did. I wanted to pay off some of those bills, right? Uh, and I wanted to never, ever worry about money. I wanted to be able to wake up in the morning and be like, dude, you know, like, you're, you're confident. You have options. You have control. You can, you know, like, you can, you can have the, the, the kind of life that you really want. Um, so... So, so that's step number one, right, is, is have a clear target and be very clear about that, right? So a lot of people are working for their money. Now, here's the thing, okay? Step number two, and I'm just I'll, I'll keep it super simple here, okay, you guys? Step number two is once you have your target, which is what, you know, might be, fine, might be freedom ultimately, okay? Uh, step number two is plan, right? I'm not going to get into this too much, but planning for acquiring that. Can you all see my, my cursor here or not? because I know I, I don't have the, this digital whiteboard is 
since I can't be pointing fingers here, you know, on these things, I'm not sure if you guys can see my cursor, yeah? You should be able to see my cursor. It's really tiny because I got like a big monitor here. We want to give more and receive, somebody says. Yes, Paula, that's right, right? Okay, so, so the plan is, you know, step number two, and then step number three, right, is this. It's really, really simple, is we gotta get our butts to work, okay? Really, really simple, okay, there, is you. there you go. So you have your target, you have a plan, and you get to work. Now, here's the problem, though, okay? The problem, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm seeing, Okay, the problem what I'm seeing is a lot of people have an issue with, with proper planning. Okay, a lot of people, well, most, people don't have the, most people don't have the problem with going to work, I don't think. Okay, unless, you know, you're like lazy. <laughs> but I think most people, as, as, again, this is just my perspective here. This is my opinion. I'm not trying to, you know, impose my opinion onto you. I'm going to share it with you, take it for what it's worth, right? And I think, you know, if you, if you give it a shot and see what, what, it, you know, what it can do for you in your business over the next 30, 90 you know, days, six months, one year, uh, let me know how it goes for you. But I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, if you take this information seriously, it may, forget may, it will change your life, okay? It will change your life. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're just getting started, okay? It will change your life if you stick to the plan I'm going to outline to you. So what I'm noticing and what I have, what I have been noticing is a lot of people, including a lot of people in 4%, you know, I've been in, you know, different companies and doing different things is a lot of people don't have the problem with going to work. Like a lot of people are, are, are okay with working, right? I'm going to sip of water here. But the plan is where a lot of people struggle with. So what's the plan? So I kind of wanted to break this down in a couple things here impose a way somebody says <laughs> okay so if we have a wrong if if i have a wrong plan right and i'm 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 going to i'm going to put a lot of work like a lot of people are doing in this space right now but if your plan is not solid if your plan is shaky will you ever have an unshakable business if you have a, a shaky plan right never okay so you will never you will never achieve your unshakable business if your plan is not sound, if you you know if, if your blueprint is wrong, if you're following a blueprint that ultimately sets you up for potential failure, potential risks, right? Potential pit you know pitfalls or whatever the case might be, unknowns that that are out of your control. So if you have something that is out of your control, will you ever have an unshakable foundation? Never. Okay. If you cannot control stuff. If, if, if something is out of your control, if the weather is out of our control, man, tsunami comes or tornadoes or earthquakes or whatever, then nothing we can do about it, right? Absolutely nothing. So you feel powerless. So a lot of people, what happens is they feel powerless in business. Not because they're lacking action, right? A lot of people are saying grind and do this and hustle and all that stuff is nice, right? All that stuff is nice. Uh, but, but a lot of people are, are just repeating all these cute sayings without, you know, having really solid blueprints. So, um, so I want to I kind of break, that, break this down into two different scenarios, and I'm going to tell you guys how we are going to, what we're doing from the 4%, right? Um, if you guys are in the 4%, you will, you will love this. If you're not in the 4%, you will love this because we are going to do something pretty, pretty neat here in the industry that a lot of people will benefit, I think. Um, but I'm gonna share it with you, okay? So check this out. Let's go ahead and, and talk about the plan, okay? So the plan is this. What's the plan, okay? The plan is what? It's financial independence, right? Let's break this down. I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. Plan equals financial independence, okay? Freedom. Everybody agree that if I, if I could, like, if I give you, if I could help you, right, uh, uh, create enough income to where you don't have to ever worry about money, you will, you will figure out how to become free and happy and all that good stuff, yeah? Paula says the basics is what we need. Yeah, sometimes the basics is, is what's, you know, is what, what <laughs> it get, gets overlooked the most and and because of that people steer away from the basics and they try to you know comprehend this com complex complicated stuff and getting more confused and so we're going to keep things simple here tonight you know um, okay so if my plan 
everything that I do has to provide financial independence. Here is the, the first problem, you guys, that, that I have been noticing amongst entrepreneurs personally. Again, this is my opinion, my observation, okay? Um, and I have made this mistake myself as well, okay? Um, tell me your, how many of you guys here earn at least $1,000 a month? In fact, we surveyed a lot of people, and I think like, it was a very few, a very small percentage of entrepreneurs in our space here, you know, in internet marketing, actually earning $1,000 plus per month, okay? Now here is, nothing works if you can't, um, if you can't have the system set up properly. Okay, systems is important, okay? System is important. Um, I wanna bring it down even, you know, I want to I want to bring this down to the level to where before we even talk about systems, you guys, I think people are missing some fundamental stuff. If your outcome is truly financial freedom, okay, I think I think the the the, the actual foundational, uh, you know, um, perspective here, I think maybe for lack of a better word, to put it, is kind of missing. Okay, so check this out. If I, okay, if I earn one thousand dollars, okay. If I earn $1,000, whether it's a month, you know, whether it's a week, doesn't matter. How many of you guys here, honestly, tell me, okay, if you're an entrepreneur, how many of you guys consider yourself to be an entrepreneur, yes? An entrepreneur? Entrepreneurs say, say I'm an entrepreneur, say, say I or something like that. We've got 700 people on live, and then I don't know how many people we've got on YouTube. Okay, so uh, my entrepreneurs. Josh says not even, not even close. Okay, let's let's keep it very very simple here. Let's just say a thousand bucks, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the, the picture here for you that everybody will be, will be able to relate to. Okay, entrepreneurs, my entre my people, right? Entrepreneurs. Look, I do, I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I did not understand this in the beginning. And what happened to me was early in my days, right? Is I found myself, you know, getting my first sales, right? Getting my first money, and then you know before you know it, there is no money. Right, you're like, dude, where, where did the money go? You know, anybody experience that? Right, you make the money, and then you always, you always grinding, right? You're always on a treadmill. You're always dependent on something, you know, and and most people are one paycheck away from going backwards. Anybody can relate, right? Most people. Okay, so so entrepreneurs, we have a few. 40 plus years as an entrepreneur. Okay, Clarice, I actually would be curious, you know, what your thoughts on this is, okay? Entrepreneur for life, says Bill. That's awesome, man. Being an entrepreneur is, is great. So entrepreneurs, okay, if we want that, that freedom, that financial independence, that, that true freedom that we can control, okay, here is what we should be able to do, okay? If I make $1,000, how many of you guys think that if you made 1000 bucks a month, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, there's a couple of things that we need to do with that money, right? Like, if you live in America, you know, you, you need to pay a tax. You know, Uncle Sam, you know, he needs that. If you're in other countries, there is also, you know, all kinds of taxes and this like that. Um, if you truly want to be an entrepreneur, right, you have different areas of your life. You have a business that you need to grow. You have your personal you know, you want to buy a T-shirt, you want to buy a computer, you want to, you know, take your family out to the restaurant, right? So what a lot of people are doing is they think that just because they made a thousand bucks, and this is the, the first fundamental issue that I, that I have been observing. Again, just my observation, you guys, okay? But I think a lot of people can relate to this, okay? Um, tax and give to church, Mary says. Yep, love it. Okay, so if you made a thousand bucks, okay, if you live, I'm gonna I'm gonna break this down to you guys. Um, uh, I have not been, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be teaching more and more of this because I think there, you know, a lot of people need this kind of stuff. I have been practicing this in my, you know, for, you know, I've been on and off practicing this kind of concept. And I tell you this, when I did not practice this concept, things were crazy, right? So um, I am. I am going to teach you only what I know, <laughs> right? And what I uh, what I've experienced for myself, and only that. And you know, you check it out if it works for you. Okay. So when I found myself making a thousand dollars, right? And then before the month is over, you're like, dude, where where did the money go? There is no money. There is, and, and you always, 
you know, you're always in a frustration mode, okay? So the first thing that I think that entrepreneurs need, if you wanna have that unshakable business, is ultimately you want to have your money working for you, okay? So we want what? We want money. We want money to produce more money. Okay, that can be through systems, that can be through leverage, that can be through all different, different things. So in other words, I want to be able to one day, whatever work I do today, right, I want to be able to wake up one day and feel like, you know what, if I want to take a month off or a week off or a day off or a year off, I can do so without, you know, changing my lifestyle, without changing, you know, how I live, the, the money flow, all that stuff, right? So, so in other words, if I work, it's not because I have to work, it's because I love to work, it's because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Ultimately, that's what I think the, you know, the, the vision for an entrepreneur is, right? So why would I go to work and, you know, and do something that I don't enjoy? I might as well work for somebody else and you know, work my 40 hours and come back home. And so I don't think that entrepreneurs, um, you know, ultim their, their ultimate vision is to always, always grind and always hustle like we hear all these messages, right? Everybody agree? Okay, so, so here is the, the, the reality, and this is something that helped me. I'm just gonna share it with you, and then uh, we can discuss it a little bit further. I'm gonna break this down, okay? Okay, so we have, okay, if I make a thousand bucks, okay, there's a couple things that, that happens here, okay? First, Sophia, yes, says yes, okay, good, I see you guys. I see your comments, great. Okay, so first, if I live in America, right, I've got to, you know, I've got to I've got to pay about what about forty percent um, to my to my tax right about forty percent to, to in taxes okay so right away that comes down to what four hundred bucks okay so that's the first I call it the T W I'm gonna break this down here for you there's five things okay. We're going to be teaching this more in detail in 4%. Okay, TWCGO model. Okay, look, I'll break this down. You try it out for yourself and, and you know, you can customize it for yourself if you want. And then we're going to talk about the actual planning and, and things like that. Okay, so I think it's going to help you. So what, what I found is that this, right, this is, not avoid, uh, this is not avoidable. Like, you've got to do the tax stuff, okay? Uh, w, this is my wealth account. So ultimately, if I want to have my, if I want to be financially free, right, I want to be able to no tax to play, <laughs> no tax to pay. Okay. Well, if you're living in a no tax country, then you know, good for you. Um, I want to have this. Um, so it will be a 40, 10. Okay, 10. I'll tell you what that means. 20, 20. Okay. I'll explain that in a minute here. Okay, so 40, 10, 10, 20, 20 model. Um, and we'll just call it for simplicity for something to be able to, for us to be able to refer to TWCGO model. Okay, so and here is, here is what I mean by that. Okay, I want to have my tax division, okay, of, my, of, my, of anything that I do as an entrepreneur, because if I live in America, I've got to be able to pay at least 40% in taxes. Okay, I want to have my wealth account. W stands for wealth, and I'll tell you how all that stuff relates. So I want to put at least 10% there, so it'll be 100 bucks. Um, I personally am a huge, huge advocate of, you know, giving away at least 10%. So that is my, that would be my charity account here, right? So it doesn't matter if you support you know, if it's for your loved one, if it's for somebody that, that is in need, if it's for your church, if it's for your charity, it doesn't matter. I believe that an entrepreneur should give away at least 10%. That's my opinion. Um, you do whatever you think, but I'm, you know, um, I, I, I think if you test it out for yourself, you'll be surprised as to how powerful this, this, this model is, uh, or this particular, especially this particular part, okay? Now, the G stands for, and this is just for my personal reference, okay? So G for me would stand for like general, okay? So this is where, um, you know, this is where I would um, use this money to go, go out and buy some coffee, right? Put, you know, buy groceries, buy yourself a t-shirt, buy a pair of shoes, you know, buy your car, or buy your car lease, like any, any like household expenses, does that make sense? Any like household expenses stuff. And then O would be my business operations, okay? And I'm going to put 20% there. Okay, so TWCGO plan 
and, and you know, you could customize it any, any how you want it for yourself. But at the very least, I think, um, this is a, a model that I think if, you know, if us entrepreneurs were really understood, okay, so what's the problem here, right? So if I made a thousand bucks, what did I really make? Okay, what did I really make here? What's, what's, my, what's, my, actual, what's my actual money that I can use? Okay, or again, remember, what's, you know, we talked about this, right? What is our, what is our target? Right? What is your clear target? If your clear target is freedom, like everything that I do, okay, the work that I do here, you know, hopefully you guys can see my cursor, the work that I do, we're going to talk about the plan in a minute, okay? but the work that I do, it needs to feed, okay? ultimately it needs to feed this right here. Right? It needs to feed my, my ultimate target, my clear target, because if I don't, if the work that I do today if it doesn't directly support and move my target, you know, that, that kind of brings my target closer, right, that, that end destination, and moves me closer to that end destination, why am I doing this, right? And so if, if, if it's not following a specific model, then I'm just, I'm wasting money, I'm wasting time, and I'm not, definitely not building an unshakable business, right? I'm, I'm building a business that's, that's always going to have me at risk. You guys make sense so far? So really in this model, okay, what I really have here, let's take a look, right, is I've got, you know, if, if you want to go out there and if you want to buy yourself a pair of shoes, dude, if you just made a thousand bucks on a sale or, or in a month or whatever the case is, what do you really have to spend? You've got 200 bucks. That's it. Okay? That's it. You cannot spend more. If you, if, if you are feeding your ultimate vision, your ultimate you know, if you're building yourself an unshakable business. Does that make sense? So I want to put things in perspective here for you. So what's the, what's, the, what's the thing here, right? At the end of the day, what I want is I want my, this account here, okay, let's, let's do this in red. I want my wealth account, okay, to do what? Ultimately, as Robert Kiyosaki says, what? He says, look, you want to, at the end of the day, right, to achieve your true financial freedom here, Okay? Really what you want is you want to have one day money working for you and producing more money for you. Okay? A lot of people are into like, yeah, I want to invest, I want to do this and this and that, and I want to buy crypto and this and Bitcoin and this. Right? Have, having like, taken everything that they have, throwing in, a, you know, in, in, in vehicles that are risky, um, no idea how it's going to work, right? and then something happens and then they find themselves be broke again devastated and, you know, uh, losing, okay? Not a good model, okay? Does that make sense? I'm glad I'm watching this great job, okay? Yes, I got my business map. Okay, we're going to get to the plan here in just a minute, okay? But I want to make sure that we, we understand as entrepreneurs, you guys, how to build an unshakable foundation, unshakable business. And I'm not even talking about, where, you know, the, the actual business yet. I'm talking about your foundation. So, so this right here is going to give me freedom, all right? Now, in order for me to build freedom, everything that I do in business has to be strategic, okay? I want to have, this is my goose, right, that maybe one day will produce golden eggs for me. I don't care what, what it is that, you know, and we can talk about that in just, you know, a little bit later on, okay? So look, this right here, okay, you have your, your, your tax division. How many of you guys have found yourself at the end of the year, like you got to have, you know, you, you got to pay your taxes if you made a few bucks, and then you're like, dude, I don't have the money to pay taxes. Look, I'll be the first one to tell you, I have been there myself, okay? I have been, and it's not fun, man. It's not fun at all, right? Um, I need a ton, I need a ton of freedom. <laughs> okay, somebody says income property, right, right. So, so what I want is I want to have control, right? And, and everything that I do here today, I got to be deliberate. I got to move strategically in my business as a smart entrepreneur, not a dummy who's just going to follow, just, you know, jump on any shiny object and to, to make a few bucks today or tomorrow and then find the company gets shut down. And then, and then you completely devastated and you're like, oh my goodness, do I go, go back to welfare? What's going to happen to me and my family? Like there is no stability at all. It's going to change some, it's going to change. You're watching this right here, right? Look, 
it will change your life if you do certain things I'm going to recommend to you, okay? So let me, let me put this in perspective. So what do we really need here, okay? And then, and then this uh, operations account, this is my business operations account. This is the account that I'm going to pay my subscription, my subscriptions, my AWeb or my Get Response. I'm going to buy, you know, um, I'm going to go to conferences. I'm going to do my ads from this account, okay? So you see what I'm saying? So if I have this breakdown like this, and if I can stick to the formula, just remember TWCGO, okay? TWCGO. If you got the money, you got to just boom, 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 right? TWCGO it. And so really what I'm doing here is very simply, I talked about this concept, you know, I think a few, you know, several weeks ago briefly, but I think, I think, um, you know, we, we, we had a lot of questions on this, on this concept. So that, that kind of opened my eyes a little bit. And I'm like, dude, people need to, to learn this kind of stuff. So very, very simply, what I'm going to do is before I even go to that second step in my formula, which is the plan, right? Be before I start doing the work, you know, to feed my plan, I've got to have the top stuff taken care of, which is my ultimate vision. So simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local bank where I bank at, Okay, very simple. I'm going to have one receiving account, account R. I'm going to have my tax account. I'm going to have my wealth account, my charity account, my general account, and my operations account. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six accounts within my bank. Very, very simple. And again, you can you know, tweak it, customize it to whatever, however you see fit for yourself. Okay, make sense? So I'm going to have six accounts at my bank. So when you have 100 bucks coming in, or you have a, a, a thousand bucks coming in, or a hundred thousand dollars coming in, everything gets filtered out, okay? TWCGO it, man. Just TWCGO it, okay? You have order. This is step number one to building an unshakable business for yourself for your future, okay? If something goes wrong, you've got your stuff taken care of, okay? Very simple. So the next question is, is this. It's like, okay, well, I can't live on 200 bucks. Okay, so so really, so then what we need to do is we need to go to the to the plan. Okay, let let's do. Um, let me see if I can bring this up. Maybe I can. Um, let me give. Let me put this thing in perspective here for you. Okay, because really what we need to do is we need to understand what we're really working with. Okay, take a look at this screen right here. Okay, um, let's take a look at different amounts. So at ten thousand dollars. Okay, if you're making, let's say these are monthly. Okay, ten thousand dollars a month, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty, fifty, and a hundred thousand a month. Okay, so if we put it through that system, through that model, TWCGO, okay, like I just explained it. See what what's going to happen here is now it gives me a perspective on what my target is. Okay, what my target is again. What are we What are we working here towards? Okay, we're working to build an unshakable business. And what are you feeding? Why are you in business, man? Why are you working? Why do you show up every day? Why do you buy ads? Why do you, you know, it, you know why, why do you propagate your message? Why do you do anything as an entrepreneur? If it's not to, you know, to feed your freedom, your ultimate freedom, what, what's your clear target? Why are you doing? If you, if you don't have that, you know, you, you'll just be grinding and, and you know, enslaving uh, all the time. And, and you'll never be happy. You'll never be, never be satisfied. You will always... Right? So what I need to do is I need to identify, okay? I need to identify what my, um, let me go here. Okay, what's my number? Okay, so get clarity. This is, we're getting into the planning phase a little bit here. Okay, so my, my, my step number one in planning section or, you know, component is what does the TCG stand for? Right, so, tax, uh, so T stands for tax. This is my tax account. If I make $10,000, let's say these are my monthly, okay? If I have 10,000 coming in, or weekly or daily, it doesn't matter, or per sale, it doesn't matter. If I have these amounts hitting my bank account, okay? I'm gonna put 40% to my tax account, 10% to my wealth account, okay? I gotta, the only, the only way I'm gonna, the only reason I'm gonna put it to the tax is because at the end of the year, I'm gonna have to pay taxes because if I don't, I'm gonna lose, I can lose everything, right? Not fun. I want, to, I want to build my wealth ultimately. That's why I'm working, okay? And then this is my charity account, all right? The, 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 you, guys, whether you believe in, you know, giving away, I'm telling you, if you cannot live on, on you know, on 90% of your income, you cannot live on 100% of your income, okay? Like 10% is not going to change the, the, the lifestyle for you. Trust me, 
like I, I, I know I have some friends that are like super like against this, like, you know, why would I give away? Dude, take a look. There is like success leaves clues, right? Like look at any wealthy person. They're all virtually, all, like 99, probably 99.5 or 0.9% of them out there, okay? They all have some sort of a charity, something that they're supporting. And it's, I'm telling you, maybe part of the reason is because of the tax write-offs and stuff like that. But, but, but the, 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 the biggest reason is because this is the, one of the laws of prosperity, okay? If you can't live on 90%, you will not live on 100. I'm telling you from my personal experience, and you take this for what it's worth. I'm not trying to like, I've got no, you know, agenda really to sell you on this uh, other than that. Other than, um, you know, telling you from my personal experience. There were times when I did not practice this. And there were times when I did practice this. And I'm telling you guys, the difference, right, is night and day. Opportunities, what you're building, you, you, like, you, just, you, just, you just see the difference, right? And again, I don't care where you give it away. Help somebody, right? Um, do something, you know, something for everybody, okay, it's for other people. But um, I'll get into the, a little bit more details about this. So, so you got to have your charity, and then G stands for your general account. This is where you buy your household stuff. Uh, you take your, you know, wife out. And then O for your business operations, okay? So if you want to live, if you have a lifestyle that requires you to have $4,000, let us say $6,000 per month, okay? If you live, uh, you have a mortgage, you have maybe a car payment, maybe you, you know, your lifestyle requires you to have $6,000 per month in income. As an entrepreneur, what do you really need to be at, right? What do you really need to be at? Your goal, your target, and this is, where, this is a planning session right here, you guys, okay? Your target should be 30,000 a month. Okay? See that right there? <clears throat> so if I need 10,000 a month to live on, I really should be going for 50,000 a month as my top line. Okay? As my top line. My my the, the, the problem is not that I don't have enough money or the problem is not like I never want to decrease my lifestyle like you know some people say well you just gotta you know humble yourself and you gotta adjust your lifestyle and you might want to do that in the beginning whatever works for you but I'm telling you man that's not a that's not a winning model right if, if as an entrepreneur if you plan your your business in a certain way you should go for playing offense never playing defense does that make sense everybody okay so you can either play offense or you can play defense. If you're playing defense, you're adjusting your lifestyle based on what your income is. And when you do that, you feel powerless because you don't feel like you have control over your income, right? So therefore, you have to adjust your lifestyle. And who, you know, who does it affect the most? It's you. And then if it affects your family. And then you don't, do you feel good about yourself doing that or not, right? Of course not. You never feel good about contracting. Right? You never ever feel good about yourself. You never feel like you, you, know, you can support your family to the degree that they deserve yourself. You never feel confident. You never feel empowered. You, know, it's the, you, know, you feel bad about yourself going backwards. Right? Make sure that we're still live here. Okay. So in my business, what I want is I want to have confidence. Okay? Confidence breeds power. Okay? Power is a good thing. Okay? And we live in the economic world, so in my planning stage, I want to make sure that I'm clear first and foremost, because once I have this clarity here, okay, what my target is, okay, this becomes my target, whether it's 30,000, 20,000, then my question is, is this, okay? You're like, okay, I will never <clears throat> adjust my lifestyle, but what I really need to adjust is I need to plan and this is my planning stage here, I need to plan how do I get to my top line revenue so that I can support and sustain everything else, this T TWCGO model, okay? That way I have, right? I've got at the end of the year, dude, if this is my monthly right here, at the end of the year, I've got, 
you know, 120 or 140, whatever, $150,000, whatever that amount is for taxes, it's good. Maybe I can pay it every three months, okay? I never have to worry about that part. You know what, at the end of the month or at the end of the year, I've got about 40 or 45, whatever that number is, $1,000 saved, set aside, right, in my wealth account, okay? So now that you have some freedom, you have some options. Now, when it comes to building your wealth, so maybe I can take this, right, maybe on a monthly basis or maybe every couple of months or something like that, right? This is where I start to uh, diversify. This is where I start to transition over into money working for, for my money and producing more money, okay? So maybe I wanna invest, a lot of people are just, you know, I think making really, really, really bad mistakes right now, you know, um, investing, like if they made 30,000 or even selling their, their assets and stuff like that and just investing, that's a very, very risky situation because you don't know, right? So you got your, you know, maybe you got crypto here, right? A lot of people are like, oh yeah, crypto is the future, man, I'm gonna take everything I've got, Right, and I'm gonna buy this Bitcoin that's twenty thousand dollars, or it was like seventeen thousand dollars. It's climbing up. It's gonna be a you know whatever the, the number is, and you know people are selling homes and literally getting rid of everything, and then boom, before you know it, it's back down to sixty-seven hundred. My goodness, what are you gonna do, right? Uh, and who knows, man? Maybe that thing goes up to a hundred thousand or a million. Nobody knows. But the thing is, is I want to be smart about my stuff. I want to have unshakable business, not risky business. Right, so maybe you want to, you know, invest in real estate. Okay. Maybe you want to invest in gold or silver, right? And here's the thing, you guys. My personal opinion on this kind of stuff is this: anybody that tells you you gotta go, just put everything you've got into one thing. Personally, I don't think it's smart. Okay, let me tell you why. Because we live in a world where there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of unpredictable things, right? Facebook didn't exist. Bitcoin didn't exist that long ago, right? And, 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 and like Bitcoin was what? Just like dollars it's just a few years ago. And right now it's in 2000s. Nobody can say for sure where that will be, okay? Cryptocurrency is probably the future of, the, of money. Blockchain is probably here to stay, but we, do we know if it's gonna be Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin? Do we, can anybody tell you for sure that, hey, this coin right here will be the future? Nobody. And if somebody's going to be adamant about, you know, or, or telling you things like that, I would definitely, <laughs> that, that would definitely be a red flag because nobody knows, right? Now, how do I know that, uh, you know, you know, real estate, you know, seems to be pretty solid, right? But you got to have the money, you know, and, and I want to have stability. Now, but what I want to do is I want to have diversity, right? But in order for me to have diversity, again, what's my target? Well, maybe if I want to invest more, I want to be more aggressive. All I have to do is figure out, again, this is planning stage. How do I increase my top line right here? So maybe I want to go to 50,000 or 100,000 per month, right? To feed that. <clears throat> now, Maybe with, uh, you know, uh, right now, I'll tell you this. And you guys, this is not a, an investment advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a CPA or, any, you know, any, like, I'm just thinking out loud here, okay, for lack of a better term or, or, or way to put it, okay? Where everybody right now is jumping on crypto, it might be a good thing, you know, and, and again, if you have the money, get some, okay? Now, historically looking, Gold and silver has always been the store of value. Now, will that be the future as well? We don't know. But historically looking, going back to ancient Babylonians, right? It's, it's always been the store of value. So being smart entrepreneur, me knowing all these things, what I need to do is I need to be smart about some things, right? Because what I'm doing here, I'm building towards my freedom. What is that freedom going to look like? I don't really know, but I know one thing for a fact. I want to be able to one day, like what I do today, it needs to feed that freedom, right? It needs to feed that ultimate vision, that ultimate uh, target that I have. So I can have diversity here. One thing doesn't work out, I have this other thing working, right? So diversity is good, okay? It's a good thing, it creates stability. <clears throat> Even in crypto space, have diversity. Yeah, I think it would be smart, <laughs> okay? Um, and then I'll tell you this uh, before I move on to the next thing here, you guys, okay? So when we're talking about uh, your charity account, one thing I'll tell you that from, again, 
my my personal um, from my personal experience and just kind of personal advice here, like this charity account, clear it up every single month. Clear it up, okay? You wanna you wanna have this down to zero every single month. Don't keep it. That consider that like your like your pipeline for your prosperity. That's that you know think of that as your prosperity pipeline, okay? You don't have to believe me. Test it out for yourself for about yeah, give it six months, okay? Give it six months. Clear it up every single month. Give it to a good cause. I don't care what it is. Whatever you stand for, whatever you believe in, you know, give it, give it, give it away for a good cause, okay? Your prosperity pipeline. If you block it, if you keep it, if you don't, if you don't clear it up, it gets clogged, clogged up, right? So you want, you want to make sure that it's, it's open, right? It, it's, it's, you know... You, you can have every month down to zero. Yes. Ed says gold has kept its value for over 5,000 years. That's right. That's right. Okay. So this is, you know, planning phase number one here. Okay. And then you got your, you know, these other accounts here. So if I have $6,000 to work with in my, um, in my operations for my business, right, I want to plan, I want to plan my stuff, okay? I want to plan my business, my, my advertisement budget based on that amount, okay? Are we clear so far, you guys, okay? I don't want to confuse you. I want to keep, the, I want to keep it like really, really, you know, easy to follow and easy to understand. I'm telling you, man, I'm not telling, you know, this is not theory for me. This is some, this is the kind of stuff that I had to figure out for myself. I learned this from T. Harv Eker years ago when I was first introduced to something similar, but it was not as elaborate as this. Um, and, I, and, I, and I tried it out for myself, and then I kind of developed a little system for, for myself that worked really, 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 really well, you guys, okay? Really well. Um, clear, man. Okay, good. Very clear. Good. Great. So, so based on this, let me ask you, what is your target? Throw, throw me your target number right here. What's your top line target? Because that will go into the uh, step number two of our planning part. What's the target here? Somebody says clear as mud. <laughs> Ramos, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so wh wh what we're gonna do, you guys, okay, is we are going to be bring, like we're gonna be teaching this kind of stuff in a lot of details inside four percent. Okay, just so you know both for members, and we're going to be, you know, doing a lot of public trainings on this one as well. Okay, so 100 see how See how it kind of changes the perspective for you a little bit, right? Again, if you want to, if you want to have that unshakable business, dude, this is, how, this is how, this is where you start, okay? Paul says 350, 100K, 100K. Okay, great. So now you know your number, okay? 100,000, 100,000 a month, 100,000 a month, 100,000 a month, okay? So look, we survey a lot of people right? And most people say, you know what? I just want to make 5,000 a month, okay? According to surveys in our, in our, in our industry, in our space, okay? So through that, right, when people think, well, I just need 5,000, all of a sudden, see, your game changes. Like you're thinking, the way you think about your business, the way you think about your moves in business, the way you think about operations, collaborations, looking at opportunities, looking at companies, you know, future like build outs and you know, everything, ch everything changes, right? You, you have a completely different lens through which you're looking at yourself and your business and your future and really what you're building towards, okay? Now, making more than kids, <laughs> Rob Kent. Okay, so check this out. So now that you have your target, okay, let's, uh, let's go to the next thing here and let's see if we can figure this out, man. We're gonna do this live. Okay. All right. So I've got my target of, let's just do this, right? So my target is, since most of you guys said $100,000, okay? 100000 a month. Dude, how many of you guys here have made 100000 a month before? Like, truthfully, okay? How many of you have made 100000 a month here? Okay. So really what we're talking about here is this. We're talking 1.2 million, okay, 
a year, right? hundred and or, or one point two million dollars a year. Okay, so then what I need to do is I need to do my numbers. Okay, so step number one, let's just kind of do this. Sorry, I'm going back and forth between screens. Hopefully, you guys are following me along, right? Number one, okay, top line, target. People say money is not important. Dude, money is very important, man, right? Don't ever listen to anybody who says money is not important because they're broke. They, haven't, they, 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 they don't have that figured out, man. I, I, I promise you. You know, they have chaos. Most marriages break up because of money. You know, most people fight with one another because of money. In fact, that's like majority of what happens, right? So money is really important. So, so step number one here is your top line target. Step number two, okay, is break it down. That's my, that's my planning stage right here, right? So that's my planning. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to take 100,000 divided by, um, yeah, just say 30 days if, you know, that's 30 days. So that's $3,333. Okay, so that would be $3,333 per day, okay? $3,333 per day, okay? Ultimately, what I want is I want this ultimately, okay, to be passive, in other words, money, working for money, okay? You see what I'm saying? So if my target is that, my ultimate goal is build up to that so that I can have my $3,333 uh, $3, per day generating, okay, that kind of money whether I work or not, ultimately. It's not going to happen immediately. It's not going to happen right away. But ultimately, that's where I'm going. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah? Close up a couple windows here. Okay. So that's my planning. Number three, okay, is my vehicle. Okay? So what's my vehicle? Okay, now that I know my, you know, I, I have my top line, I have my breakdown, how I'm going to get there, right? I, I need to identify my vehicle. Um, how will the sales be generated immediately? Because initially I'm going to be working for money. Um, and then number four is sales system. And uh, we, can just, we can just probably call it my... Um, hold on one sec. I didn't, I didn't take it with me. Actually, I did right here, okay, which is the model, okay? Um, I'm going to sales system, um, sales model, okay? I'll show it to you guys here. And this is the kind of stuff I'm, I'm basically laying out the, the, the blueprint. I think what we're right here, okay? I've got a model. Uh, some of you guys got this. Some of you guys did not, okay? This is the, the model that I have been teaching, but now I, you know, I basically like brought it down to like an actual blueprint that can be printable, right? And, and I've got it laminated here for myself. And when I'm building out, if I have a vehicle, the vehicle, it's, it's not as relevant as the model that pushes the sales to the vehicle, okay? The model needs to feed independence, right? The model needs to be in, uh, structured in, in a way, if you are an independent entrepreneur, Right? If, you, if, if you're working for somebody and you're dependent on somebody, whether it's a company, we, you know, we just witnessed a lot of people getting you know, devastated, right? losing a whole bunch of money. Why? Because they dependent on a company. Now, you know, and I hear some people are saying, well, here is why the company went belly up. Or, but it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. The truth of the matter is a lot of people found themselves homeless again. Okay? And that's not a good model. Okay, we're going to be given. Actually, you guys, I'm I'm telling you this because this is the kind of stuff that um, 
you'll, like, if you're in the 4%, you'll be able to get this, okay? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that, okay? But I've got one for my, for my uh, sales model, okay? This is, the in, this, is, this is the model that, that positions you for independence, right? And then I've got my traffic, because traffic and conversions, you know, if you understand these two, um, it took like 14 years, right? Uh, and, and although I have been following this for myself and been teaching, you know, kind of on and off in parts of it here and there, what we're basically doing right now is we're, you know, we're bringing all of these together in a, in a, in a systematic, in a way that makes sense to people that, you know, people can actually follow and they understand why to follow it, right? So that you can never, you will never have to depend on anybody, right? You guys watching me right now, I don't want you to depend on Vic for your success. I don't want you to depend on 4% as your vehicle to get you wealthy, okay? Everybody needs to have a model for themselves. Every, every one of you are different, okay? And every one of you, what you need is you need to have, okay? You need to have a sales model that you can plug into any vehicle of your choice, okay? That will feed that number that is unique to you, okay, that feeds your ultimate dream, whatever that number is, whatever that target of yours is, okay? <clears throat> okay, and then number f step number five here, okay, you have the sales model, then you understand marketing, okay, marketing, traffic okay I'm keeping it I'm keeping things you guys really like 10,000 foot overview here okay hopefully I'm not confusing anybody okay so if I under, if I understand there is there is a few things here okay I understand the big the big concept and this is my planning okay I understand traffic I understand conversions okay I can plug that in into any vehicle. Now, be sure that whatever it is that you promote, you guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about the vehicle here, okay? Look, the easiest thing right now, the easiest thing for you to win and generate income is not, listen to me really, 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 really close, you guys, okay? Really close. Do not focus on opportunities. Do not focus on opportunities, okay? The easiest way for you to win is to identify a problem, okay, in the marketplace, whichever, you know, whatever marketplace you're serving, and figure out what skills do you need to acquire personally to solve that challenge, okay? Opportunity space, you guys, although, you know, I'll tell you, it's gonna get harder and harder and harder, okay? Um, if you're relying on opportunity space alone, I'm not gonna tell you, like, look, you're free, right? You can do whatever it is that you want. But if you take my advice, and if you, if you listen to me, here's what happens in opportunity space, okay? The biggest, the biggest reason that companies get shut down, the biggest reason that people lose a lot of money, right? The biggest reason people lose, you know, everything they've got is because two things, expectation, okay? Expectation and perception. When you are dealing with opportunity market, it's, it's a pretty decent sized market, right? Everybody wants to work from the beach and click the, 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 the button on their computer, right? Join some company and do nothing and, and make money, okay? Unfortunately, that's not what the reality is, okay? So, so what, what happens a lot is this, this concept of do nothing and make money gets propagated throughout the opportunity market, right? And, and the perception is, is I, people never learn and acquire the, the actual skills that makes them valuable in the marketplace. Does this make sense, everybody? Okay? So, so for me to win, right, there is, there is a law of compensation and it dictates, it's based on three things, okay? Number one is the need for what I do, okay? There is not a great need, like, up, up, like, you know, I, I gotta be like, I wanna be pretty neut neutral here, you know, in, in what I'm saying, but the need for what I do, my ability to do it, and how difficult will it be to replace me? 
Okay. So if I go to, um, I don't know, man, I, you know, I, I go to a local, you know, shingles guy, a local roofer or something like that, right? And I say, hey, you know, what, what do these guys want, right? I go to a local, um, you know, whatever, a local uh, uh, shop. Uh, I go to a local hair salon. I go to um, a real estate agent, right? What, what, what are the, the problems there, okay? So whatever the need is, Okay, or if I go to, for example, to somebody who, you know, builds, maybe it's, you know, let's say, let's take a look at network marketing. A lot of people here in our space are in network marketing. Okay, what are the, the challenges in network marketing? See, when you look at the big picture, what a lot of people are doing is they're just repeating what everybody else is doing. And, and, and that's pretty much it. Okay, perception. Okay, perception, um, it, it matters. Like when people join something or when people become a part of something, what's the perception? What do they expect, right? It's expectation and perception. And so you can have all the disclaimers and you can say, you know what, nobody's making money here. But when people coming in, okay, and the message gets propagated on, on the subconscious level, a lot of people lose at the end of the day. Okay, so what I want to do is, you know, somebody wants to play that game, that's fine. But for you, better off you will be is to acquire a skill that would help whoever it is that you're serving. Look, if you're in the opportunity market, that's fine, but do your part to make sure that the people that listen to you will benefit. Does that make sense? Like, I can be serving opportunity market, that's fine. I can be serving network marketing market, I can be serving, you know, consultants, I can be serving all these people. In fact, that's, that's how we're, we're, you know, moving forward and that's what we're gonna be focusing a lot more on from the 4% and, and teaching our people how to do that as well, individually, on the individual level, okay? So that I can I can help that person, okay. But I'm 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 serving from from the uh, I'm coming from a position of, uh, of of power and independence, right? So that ultimately what I'm doing here is my strategy is I want to build myself, okay. Um, I want to bring value to the marketplace. that I'm serving. Okay? If you bring value to the marketplace that you're serving, got crept out there for a bit, Jeremy, are we breaking up or something like that? Money is in the details of your research in the niche, okay? Keep it really, really simple, you guys, okay? Like a lot of, <laughs> It's not that difficult to it's not that difficult to make money. It's really not. Okay. The problem that for people, if your target is hundred thousand dollars a month, okay, here's what you need. Okay, you need to you need to find a, a problem that you can solve through your skills. That's it. Okay, acquire the skills uh, the skill necessary to solve the problem. Go solve the problem. Okay, and that brings us to step number three right here, which is right get to work so my plan here okay let's let's let me um well, let me do this so what's my plan okay my plan everything i do okay needs to feed okay needs to feed my independence now I'll prove it to you really, really easily, you guys, okay? You go out there, you take a look at any company, okay? You take a look at any company in our space, network marketing, doesn't matter, any company out there. You will find two groups of people, 96 percenters doing what everybody else is doing, propagating the same message, swimming in the same red ocean right there, right? Trying to compete, trying to out, you know, out scream the other, you know, their fellow, rep or agent or whatever the case might be. There is no difference. You take away any one of these people from that pool, nobody will ever notice. Nobody. Okay? These guys are making less than a hundred bucks a month. Definitely less than a thousand bucks a month. Always grinding, always, you know, always lack, always frustration, you know, not enough, just crazy. Craziness. 90, at least 96% of them. At least. Okay? You have another group of people in any niche, any business, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? You will find this to be true. Other group of people, about, 
you know, might not be 100% accurate like that, but about four, four people out of 100, okay, these guys are doing things completely differently. They have tools they provide to these guys. They have systems. They might make money the same way these guys are making, but most of their money is coming from a different way or a different, you know, a different strategy, okay? So these guys have figured out how to serve these guys, right? And, and, these, and, and these dudes right here, they understand and they follow a plan that if a company goes away or something happens to this crowd right here that is always dependent okay, on somebody or something, if you take away that something or somebody, these guys are just, they're, they're out on the street and they're looking for another deal to join and, and it's just constant, over, you know, just constant turnover. Okay? Whereas these guys, they control systems. Okay? They control something, they, they have uh, you know, a certain skill set, whether it's a, a particular marketing you know, idea, whether it's something that is, that they, you know, that they plan, you know, so it, 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 it gives them that independence, that control, okay? And so they never really, they never really care about the company that much because they know that they can apply this knowledge, this skill set to any other company and they'll be just as successful. Does that make sense, you guys, right? It's all clear now, Cameron says, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, without going, you know, too deep into the, um, into the, yeah, I don't know, we've been here for over an hour here. Basically, you guys, let me tell you, um, this is, in a nutshell, okay, um, in a nutshell, how you should be thinking about building, okay, an unshakable business. Now, let me tell you guys what we're going to be doing, okay? How many of you guys here in 4%, yes? So, we have been, uh, let me, let me talk about it like here, okay, and bring a, a new slide here. Let me tell you guys the, kind of the, um, the, the intention of the 4% has always been like, I, I want to be that cornerstone that will help you do whatever it is that you want to do. Like if you want to write a book, if you want to do the opportunity space, if you want to do the, the, the MLM marketing, if you want to be a consultant, if you want to be a real estate agent, doesn't matter. I want to be that, that you know, that stage, that, that cornerstone, that, that guy in your corner who will say, you know what, if you do this, 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 it will help you, right? Um, and so let me kind of, you know, very quickly here, point, you know, paint out a little, the direction that we're, you know, um, the direction is, is the same. It's always been to empower an entrepreneur, but we're going to be even more intentional, you guys, okay? The reason that I wanted to do this particular webinar on a live page like this, instead of, you know, just keeping it private to members or whatever the case might be, is because I wanted everybody to be very, very clear on, on, on our stand as a 4%, as a group here, what it is that, that our position is, okay? We want to empower you to do whatever it is that you want to do. And ultimately, my vision is to help you become independent, okay? So here is how that will look like, okay? We will be providing Okay, we will be providing a lot of free training. Similar to this, just publicly, you know, to a lot of people that want to hear our message. Okay, they, they don't have to buy any products. I mean, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be providing, I mean, we currently have, um, if you guys are in the 4%, you might have noticed that, you know, I've been a little bit, detached from the, you know, from the community because we've been building out a lot of, a lot of different things. Um, and we will, we will be providing a lot of, um, um, you guys will see we have a site coming out that's an updated enhanced site. Um, there will be people, you know, teaching this kind of concept. Everything will be, will be feeding the vision, okay, that we talked about here, okay. And then we're keeping things really, really simple, you guys. How do you feed Okay, our goal is, is really simple. Okay, how do we help you build this top line? Doing whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, whatever it is that you want to do. 
I don't want you to do what, what I think you should do. I want to help you become great at whatever it is that you want to do. Make sense? So our stand here is how do we teach you, how do I help you, okay, to get to that top line so that, and you understand the model, you understand why, and kind of point you in a different direction that if you want to take a look at whatever the case might be, right? That you can have order, you can have true freedom and true independence, you can build yourself a really, truly unshakable business for your future, okay? So, so take a look at this. We have three products, right? So people that will be, um, people that will that, that want to participate and kind of check out what we you know what we do. There's there's, a, we're gonna keep things really really simple. Okay, we have a product called the four percent challenge. Okay, success challenge, and the four percent success challenge. You guys, if you have been you know if you if you're going through that, um, that is being enhanced or clarified or or, or streamlined a little bit to make sure that we are even clearer in our message about um, what, the, you know, what, the, what the vision is. So one of the things that we're gonna be doing is in the 4%, I'm talking to the members right now, just a little side note. Um, you guys, our focus will be almost non-existent about you know, getting promotional partners or people to promote ours. Like, we don't want to recruit people because we're not an opportunity. Okay? We're not an opportunity. We want to be an educational platform to, to serve anybody who needs help becoming great at whatever it is that they're doing. Okay? So um, sometime early next week, you guys will see the challenge will be um, resuming, but we are cleaning, the, the, cleaning that up right now, as, as a matter of fact, as I'm speaking. Uh, that's getting cleared up just a little bit. The core stays the same, everything stays the same, but it's getting just polished up just a little bit. Uh, to make sure that people don't have this perception that, well, if I just join 4%, somehow I'll just, you know, they'll make me successful. We'll teach people how to become great, okay? Now, check this out. Here's something else, okay? We have, um, so the challenge teaches people, uh, you know, there, there's, when we're talking about succeeding, there's a lot of different, different you know, subcategories there, right? You got to have the right mindset. You got to have the right uh, understand how to set goals, how to achieve, how to you know hit your targets and all that stuff. So the challenge covers all that stuff. This is an incredible, incredible, incredible starting point for any entrepreneur. Doesn't matter what it is that they're doing. Okay, it teaches you how to go from zero to ten thousand, a hundred thousand, and ultimately a million. Doing whatever it is that you want to do. Take the concepts I'm teaching you from experience. Okay. Now there is another product that we that we have launched out. It's called the. Um, Internet Traffic Mastery, okay, but really that is going to be part of Internet Traffic Academy. Okay, Traffic Academy. And that is all about traffic and conversions. That is everything there, everything is centered around these two models. Simple, we're, we're, we're keeping things really, really, really simple. Okay, confusion, you know, removing all the confusion, complications, just keeping things as simple as possible. Dude, you have a target, whatever your number is. Let's figure out how do we help you become independent, doing whatever it is that you're doing to hit your top line. Okay, following a model that builds you and positions you for independence, teaches you traffic generation, and that's what the academy is all about. It's nothing but traffic, list building, conversions, communication or copywriting, and then tribe building, which is building your loyal following around any topic, any program, any company, doesn't matter, okay? Simple, okay? And then we have, we have been, you know, I've always been preaching this concept of having your home on the internet, which is we have a product called eStage, okay? We haven't been talking about that publicly much because it's been kind of like an internal um, insider's kind of a product. So basically what we have here, okay, is we'll keep things really, really simple, okay? We have the challenge, Okay, people coming through the challenge, each one of these products, they communicate and they are relatable to one another. Okay, so this becomes basically our model that anybody can follow to become somebody who will be really, 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 really difficult to, to be replaced in any market. I don't care if they're in an insurance, if they're a real estate, if they're in opportunity space, 
if they're in network marketing space, if they're doing anything that they want to do, you know, as long as it's legal, right? That's up to them. Where we come in is we're, we're going to be, you know, we're, we're launching out. This is going to be a corporate, um, um, an updated corporate site that you guys will see here. It's actually in the works right now, okay? Providing a lot of, a lot of free, you know, free training. This is where we build an audience, okay? You know, that video that I played in the beginning, and if you guys, got, you know, came in late, maybe you can watch a replay or something like that, right? But we're going to be building a huge audience here just from people because the, 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 the big vision here is, look, anybody that's willing to listen, okay, we're going to provide, you know, education and, and, like, concepts and ideas that are sound that will only help people succeed and become better, more solid, more stable, right, and ultimately help them get to, to, a, to a solid future, okay? Now, there will be people that will listen or not. It's going to be up to them. But that's kind of the concept, right? Not holding anything back. And those people that would really want to go for mastery, you know, they go for these three, uh, three main products. And then, of course, we have, you know, we have, um, we have the, 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 the entire marketplace and tools and, you know, and, and all these uh, MSI model here, the entire ecosystem of the 4% to where we are aligning with companies um, that, you know, that are pro providing services and all this stuff. Now, let me tell you how, um, you know, some people, you know, we discussed this at the, at the leadership mastermind there in, you know, in Miami last week. And the question that came up was like, all right, so if somebody is brand new and they don't really know what to promote and how to make money, how to hit that top line target, right? Maybe they're not an expert yet. How do we help that person? Well, it's really simple. You can promote somebody else's product, okay? But check this out. So, for example, some of these companies that we have here is, you know, we have a click funnel company uh, that, you know, that's part of the ecosystem here. Um, we've got Click Magic, we've got World Ventures, we've got, what else we've got? Aweber, GetResponse, you know, we've got um, a, a ton of them, right? Um, there is a financial company we're bringing in, you know, in, into, the, into the picture with the 4%. So basically, if you are somebody who is completely beginner, okay, see what you can do through the trainings that we teach you, okay, and this is going to be injected also in the 4% the challenge just to make things clearer and simpler for everybody so that you never, ever, ever depend on any one thing alone, right? But you're, you're fulfilling, you're like, you know, you're, you're solving challenges out there in the marketplace. So you can endorse any company you want, or if you don't know what company to endorse or what product to promote, okay, you will be able to promote any company that we are aligned with if you want to, but not 4%. So I never, I, like, I don't want people to think like 4% is this business opportunity that I'm going to join and recruit other people to join and that's how I'm going to make money. Furthest thing from it, you guys, okay? Going on the record here, okay, telling, telling you right now, um, but we're going to teach people ITA and East Age are not free. No, they're not. They're products. They're our core products. Okay? But we're going to teach, you know, we're going to provide a lot of free training, probably more free training than any other company that we know. Okay? At the end of the day, the goal here, you guys, is I think it's time for us to, you know, if you resonate with this concept, with this message, if you resonate with what I shared with you here, if you truly want to build yourself an unshakable business, okay, really what you want is you want this to happen. Okay? You, this is you. Okay? And you want to have money coming in to you from different directions. Okay? The way that you do this, you, you, want, to, you want to have that coming in from you being, in, you know, really being independent. And really what I'm talking about here is you want to be able to be in full control. Okay? And then as you're making money, Okay? As you're making money, you want to have, ultimately, you want to have your money producing more money, which creates your freedom. Okay? Hopefully, I did not confuse you. Um, so what you guys will see, if you're in the 4%, uh, what we'll do is we'll have a, um, um, we will have a webinar that will be inside the members area that will basically take this concept that I just kind of broke down here for you, uh, it will it will turn it into a kind of like a step-by-step a, a step kind of process, 
right? And then it will feed into this model right here, okay, that you guys will be able to go through. Um, it will be available for anybody that's part of the 4%. If you're not part of the 4%, you will see we'll be putting out trainings and, um, and some really, really cool stuff for free. Feel free to follow us. Feel free to bookmark this page. You know, we'll be communicating to you. But at the end of the day, you guys, look, my message, you know, if you got, if you stayed here long, this long, identify what your target is, really what you're doing, okay? And everything that you're doing, what's the purpose? What's the reason? What are you really feeding, right? What are you building? What's the, what's the long-term play? What's the long play here? Okay, how do you win? And let me tell you this. There is a reason why 96% of people are failing and 4% of people are super successful. But 4% is a concept, okay? It's a concept. Not everybody who is a part of the 4% group is 4%er. Far from it, okay? There's 4% within 4%, within 4%, within 4%, okay? How many of you right now have a little bit more clarity about how do you build yourself, how do you go for that independence, and, and you kind of see a little bit of a further, bigger picture, right? Uh, uh, you know, at least a, a path that you can, you know, identify with. My East stage hub is almost complete. Love it, Dave, right? So if that's you, let me know if that's you. Okay, um, and uh, really what I want to do, you guys, I wanted to talk to you about this, this idea. You know, this industry, you know, I, I think if we focus on, first of all, making sure that you understand the concept, right? Making sure that you put it to work for yourself. Make sure that you are a, a, a product of the product. Make sure that you are um, the doer, not, not the theory peddler like a lot of people out there. Make sure that you are a voice, not an echo, right? So, so the stuff I'm sharing with you, I hope that, you know, maybe a small percentage of you here right now watching this will go out there and you can actually apply at least the, you know, TWCGO model in your business, in your life, and just kind of see what happens, right? It'll be difficult if you don't know how to grow your top line, okay? So, so if you resonate with this kind of stuff, you know, we'll be... Again, we'll be able to work together uh, and build something that we can truly, instead of just giving people this perception that ultimately sets them up for failure, there's hundreds of thousands of people, you guys, just, you know, anytime when a company goes up or, or you know, belly up or gets shut down or whatever, okay, I mean, we're talking like, dude, real families, man, like people with visions and dreams and futures and hopes and aspirations and all that, and one day they wake up and boom, everything's gone. Not because you know, they're bad people is because they got deluded into a model that's not sustainable. And the vision here is really simple, right? How do we, how do, we do things in a way that truly sets people up to win long-term? Rob Kent has confused, okay. So 4% we'll have, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you in, in the members area, guys. From the 4%, we will have this will be public right here. This will be public. Okay? People will be able to follow. Remember, you know, I said, you know, we want to create the 4% to be a hub for a modern-day entrepreneur. Okay? So you guys will see we'll have, a, you know, an updated corporate site coming up with, you know, different channels. Like, when you guys get great at whatever it is that you're getting great at, this can be your platform. You can be a voice. You can have a channel. You can propagate as long as it feeds into the that feeds the, 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 you know, the vision, okay? You can have a channel. So we'll be providing a lot of free content on the hub. And, and, you know, and anybody that's willing to listen or wants to listen or take advice or, or whatever, right? They'll be able to just go there and get the information, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna basically teach what we do and what's working for us. And then people that wanna go to mastery, okay? This will be the mastery levels. Okay? And of course, we have the marketplace if people want to go specialty, they want to learn specific things, you know, uh, that would be the, the ultimate ecosystem. Okay? Look, you guys, I appreciate you. My true entrepreneurs, you guys, think about it, let it ponder, let it marinate in your head. Do some drawings here tonight when you get home or, you know, when you are off this webinar or whatever the case may be. Identify your number, identify your top line, think through your plan, ask yourself this question. What am I, what I'm, with what I'm doing today that gets me paid, 
if that thing is no longer around tomorrow, will I still get paid or will I be at risk? Okay? And if the answer is not what you like, then figure out and think through this, right? Be a smart entrepreneur. Don't be like a, don't be like a, like, I mean, you guys, there's, you know, can I tell you straight up? Don't be a sheep, man. You know, be strategic, be deliberate, be smart, right? Be, be a visionary. Like what you do today needs to have a purpose for what that is leading you tomorrow. Don't, don't, don't just do stuff just to do stuff with no vision. And your vision is not to sit by the beach and, and tell people to do the same. That's wrong, man. <laughs> you know? When you, when you create your, when you get your world in order, you, man, you can do a lot of good in the community. And you'll, be a, you'll become a force to be reckoned with. And ultimately here, what we're, my ultimate vision, man, is how many people can we, can we truly help? And then collectively, dude, what can we do in the industry, man? This is incredible. I mean, there's so much need, so much void out there that we can be filling, right, together. I mean, like through Internet Traffic Academy, for example, we will have consulting. We will have, you know, people will be able to learn a skill, go apply it in the real world, and work with real businesses, with like real people, right, and create yourself stability, future. Again, everything is going to follow through that TWCGO model and also these two blueprints. You guys, with that said, I appreciate you, okay? A lot to think about. Um, if you're in the 4%, we'll be in touch, and um, be great. God bless you guys. Talk to you next time. Cheers.